I don't know why I heard with you and Billy the Kid. Always on the go, eat every meal with one foot in the air ready to jump. <laughs> Why don't you tell your troubles to Billy? He'll be along directly. Well, I sure will. I'm going to stay right here and rest up. The sheriff don't know where we are, and I can at least be at ease for a while. <laughs> It's ruining my digestion. Peace of moment I've had in three months. Tell your horses, boys, and three jumps and have a party. Come on, Fuzzy, can eat later. Here we go again. Hurry, I'll keep the party entertained. Why don't we stay in fight? No, we don't want any bloodshed. That sheriff is only doing his duty. Go on. Bedtime, but his bed's getting hard all the time. Oh. Uh, I'm the guy that's hungry around here. See if you can sneak around behind him. We're not stopping for lunch. Well, no fool sheriff's going to stop me from having my lunch. Shut up, man. you've been yelling about. From listening to you, I thought we are going to have to amputate your leg. Uh, suppose you keep your opinion to yourself if someone asks you for it. If I feel like complaining, I'll complain. If you don't enjoy listening to it, well, go stick your head in the, in the sand. Oh, uh, what's the matter, Fuzzy? You sound like you're kind of touchy. Oh, I'm getting doggone tired of living the life of a jackrabbit on the half-hop all the time. 
If anybody robs a bank within 40 miles of where we are, we get the blame for it. Yeah, that's true enough. You know, you give a fellow a bad name, he comes in mighty handy to hang things on. <laughs> that someone was sure and happy when this little fellow showed up missing? Yeah. See. I notice quite a family resemblance to Fuzzy. You know, now that you mention it, so do I. Uh, but, but Bill, don't you think this one looks a little more intelligent? Huh? Let's see that. Well, it sounds like a couple of magpies that showed half as much sense. <laughs> 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 I got it, I got it. Just what I've been looking for. Uh, what have you been looking for? This. Now listen. <laughs> Fertile Paradise Valley will soon be the garden spot of the West. For a small fee, the Paradise Land and Development Company will locate you on a choice homestead where in years to come, you can sit at ease beneath your own vine and uh, fig tree while Mother Nature produces a bountiful harvest for you. That's what I yearn for. To sit under my own vine and fig tree and let Mother Nature produce. Ah, <laughs> wake up, brother. You're no dirt farmer. Uh, you may look like a groundhog, but you ain't one at heart. <laughs> Maybe not. But I want peace and quiet where I can sit down and eat a decent meal without having some sheriff interrupt me before I'm half through. And I'm a-going right now. Is he kidding? I think he's serious. I hate to see you pulling out, Fuzzy. We've been a long way together. Uh, my constitution's plumb fed up on excitement. Why don't you come with me, Billy, and pick up a homestead? Maybe get married. <laughs> no, thanks. I can't see myself wrangling squash and potatoes and riding herd on a field of alfalfa. You know, Fuzzy, if you've got any idea that you're going to find any time to sit under a fig tree, you're local. Dirt farming is a full-time job. Maybe it is. But I at least don't have to eat a meal with one hand and throw lead with the other. Bye, Billy. So long, Fuzzy. You know where to find us if you ever change your mind. Sure do. Bye, Fuzzy. And good luck. Same to you, Jeff. When you get yourself shot full of holes and all crippled up, why, come on over and sit under my fig tree for a spell. <laughs> all right. Adios. Funny, I guess I'll miss old Fuzzy. So will I. You know, he can make more fool mistakes than only two ordinary men. Yet I trust him with my life. the boss of the house. Well, my dad went away and my mom said, and I'm the boss. Well, you're the boss. <laughs> Seems to be the trouble, Mom. Well, I've been so sick. I tried to get up and cook some supper, but I got so dizzy I had to lie down again. I guess my son over there is trying to cook for me. 
Well, now, you just take it easy, because I'm considered one of the best cooks in Texas. <laughs> Honey boy, what's cooking? Um, my special soup. Recipe soup? Ah, uh, my specialty. From now on, I take over. A good cook? You betcha. You sure? Sure? I'm sure I'm sure. <laughs> agitating trouble amongst these homesteaders. I've got a right to my own opinion. You've got a right to nothing but to keep your mouth shut and pay your bill at the store. We can't ever expect to pay our bill at the company store. They charge such robber prices. I'm talking to your husband. You better keep out of this. Matt Crawley's fed up on you shooting off your mouth. Mm, I'm fed up on you shooting your mouth off. Yeah? Now, if you don't like it here, get out. That's all. Matt Crawley he's talking about. He owns a Paradise Valley Land Company. Mm. We're nothing but a bunch of slaves working for him. Somebody ought to put a bee in Matt Crawley's ear. And I'm just a man that can do it. Goes my fig tree. I'll be with you in a minute. No hurry. I'll be around for quite a while. Hello, man. Jack Saunders. What are you doing in this country? Well, me and the boys heard you had some soft picking around here. We thought you'd be glad if we moved in with you. We'll take another think and then move on. Now, wait a minute. That ain't the right answer. Look, I paid for your help when it meant something to me. But I've got the law working for me now, and that takes care of you as same as anyone else. You shouldn't scare me like that. You know how timid I am about the law. <laughs> now listen, and don't fool yourself. You're going to do right by me and the boys, or you might as well fold up and move out, because you ain't going to make a dime. You get it?
Matt Brody? I sure am. Well, I got a bone to pick with you. You're going to give some friends of mine a square deal, or else Paradise Valley's going to look like a job has been dislocated. Well, I don't know who you are or what you want. Get away from here and leave me alone. Oh, yeah. Hey, you, I'm a talking. Oh, two can play that game. Oh, come on, come on, fight, huh? Come on, come on, come on. What's all the excitement? To hold up, Sheriff, arrest that man. Why, Sheriff, there's any hold up. I, I suppose you just took that money in self-defense. Come on out of there. Come on. Why? And <laughs> listen to this. The sheriff was downright narrow-minded, and I wound up in the calaboose. <laughs> Sometime when you're not busy, you might drop around this way and see what you can do about getting the population. <laughs> when do we start? Right away. Didn't think it would take quite long to get in the mess. Yeah, well, How long do you think we're going to keep this in? Oh, sure. I want you there. All we ask is a square deal. We won't stand being robbed any longer. You're not giving orders, you're taking them. And furthermore, I'm going to crack down on all of you troublemakers. Hereafter, you'll pay cash for everything you get in that store. You know I can't do that. That's your worry, not mine. You won't stab my fat. <laughs> uh, I don't like that fella. Yeah, me neither. Wait a minute. He's calling on us to get him out of that calaboose. Right now might be a good time while their attention's on that row. Come on. Go on around and back.
Ah, che c'è quello? Bet down here tonight, these folks are nice and friendly. The little red rat. All right, who's there? Big idea. You're gonna take a pot shot at us? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were some of Matt Broly's men. It's the first time that I ever heard that I resemble a snake. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll meet my friends, Jeff and uh, Billy the Kid. How are you? Mighty proud to know you. Howdy. Come on in, meet my wife. Jane, this is Billy the Kid and Jeff. This is my wife and my son, Joey. Hello, ma'am. Hello, Joey. Hi. Say, was that Matt Broly we're having that argument with in front of the store? I wouldn't call it an argument. I'd call it more of a massacre. Oh, I was just telling my pals that uh, maybe we could bed down here for a few days. We'd be glad to have you. You're more than welcome to what we've got. <laughs> Much obliged, ma'am. It's kind of nice to stretch our legs under a table again. <laughs> I'll get some supper ready. Hey, Mom, can I help you? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's the boy, Joey. I bet he's the boss. He sure is. I hope you made out all right. I was figuring on going into town and laying in some more supplies in the morning. Oh, you don't want to fret about fuzzy. He always eats as long as there's anything in sight. <laughs> That's a great boy you got there. Be a top hand someday. Yeah, he's, he's all right. You bet he is. You fed us when you had hardly anything at all. No way of getting more. I'll feed anyone as long as we got anything in the house. Wouldn't you? I don't know. I haven't got a wife and family. Here comes the sheriff and a lot of men. Wait a minute, Captain. Gun smoke isn't the only way out of a tough spot. There's not a chance of getting to the horses. Does he get those plates? Behind the door. Oh. An outlaw, Billy the Kid and his two partners are somewhere in the neighborhood. And I'd advise you farmers not to give them any help. Keep your advice till someone asks for it. I got some special advice for you. If you don't quit agitating, this ain't gonna be with us very long. None of us ask more than a score deal. Nobody's asking you to do anything more than live up to your legal agreement. What do you care about the law? You take your orders from Broly's Land Company. That'll be enough, out of you. Talk less and work more and you'll get along better. See what I'm up against? Matt Broly brought out a gang of tough gunfighters to bulldoze the homesteaders. He calls it enforcing the law. I brought my wife Jane out here as a bride. I had great hopes for building up a fine home. Dan worked like a horse, and all we ever got was a bare living. Matt Brawley stole the rest. You know, I think a first glass gun whipping would do Matt Brawley a lot of good. That's my sentiments precisely. I tried to organize all the farmers to band together and make Brawley be fair, but he shut down on the credit and will soon starve the fight out of all of us. I hate to see folks starved into anything. Maybe we can do something about that.
Dein Haar ist wie schlimm, sagt der Gewohnheit. Trying to be, Connie. What's going on down there? Matt Brawley sent me over. Come on down and open this store. It's a fine time of night to be coming around waking a man up. Come around in the morning. Come down and open this door, Prado. Uh, all right. Well, I sent you. Now, uh, you know, uh, keep quiet and you won't get hurt. What's the light doing in the grocery store this time of night? We better take a look. Hurry up, Jack. Load up. What's going on here? Oh, uh, hi, sir. Why, uh, didn't Matt tell you? He didn't tell me nothing. Oh, that's funny. Didn't tell you, huh? No. Hey, uh, Matt, the sheriff here doesn't believe what you told me. Come on, go ask him yourself. He doesn't know it yet, but he's changed his mind about giving you and the other farmers any more credit. <laughs> hey, we gotta get going. There's six more houses to stop. Yeah, see you next time. Thanks a lot, sir. You wind up sitting there with a sack over your head and a note pinned on your chest. Listen to this. I guarantee that everything we took from the store will be paid for at a fair price. Signed W. Well, I'll not have Billy the Kid making a fool out of me. You either bring him in or turn that star over to someone who can. Well, I... Easy. What's the matter, Matt? Something made you unhappy? Howdy, Sheriff. You don't look like you slept so well last night. Come on over to my office, Jack. Sure. I was figured on having a talk with you. Let's go. You know, I'm surprised that most of this bunch hasn't been hung by now. But it ain't because they haven't tried. The law don't seem fast enough to snag any of my boys. So you and your boys figure to move in on me whether I like it or not, huh? That's right. But you're not ornamental. I want something for my money. Well, I can't blame you for that. There's a fellow around here making a nuisance out of himself. I want him out of the way. Yeah? All right, uh, Billy the Kid. Billy the Kid? Well, when you want a fellow brushed out of the way, you sure pick a good one. Not afraid, are you? They've never found the man yet that I'm afraid of. And what do you say? You want the job? I'll think it over. There I was. 400 Indians coming right at me. So I flops out my gun. How many Indians? Uh, well, uh, <laughs> 200 Indians. Uh, there they were, 200 Indians. Coming right at me. What do I do? 
I reach back and I get my trusty bow and arrow. What happened to that gun? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I used both of them. So there I was, stuck. They're coming at me and I'm coming at them, so I get my knife. Trusty, will you make up your mind which one? <laughs> <laughs> Matt Brawley's passed the word among the farmers that he wants to have a word with Billy. He seemed pretty sure that some of us could get the message to him. Yeah, trying to make things easy for that half-baked sheriff, I suppose. No, he guarantees that the sheriff won't bother Billy. I'll talk to him. You're a loco. Why, it's a trap. No, I don't think so. Oh, he'll try to outsmart me on something, but I'll take my chances on that. And I can get a line on what's bothering him. the sheriff. Nice uh, weather we're having, ain't it? Maybe it is. Who cares? Oh, uh, don't you worry about that, sheriff. Some of the farmers just had a hankering to stay around town for a while. on the up and up, you won't be around to enjoy it. Oh, I never had any doubt about that. Have a drink of bourbon? No, thanks. They tell me you're about the fastest man alive with a gun. I've done all right so far. Do you know Jack Saunders? I've heard of him. He's planted a lot of men in Boot Hill. I'd pay a lot to see Jack Saunders planted in Boot Hill. Why? Does that make any difference? Yeah, I always like to know just why I kill a man. Sort of funny that way. Well, he murdered my best friend. Shot him from ambush without even giving him a chance. It's very sad. <laughs> <laughs> now, why don't you tell me the real reason? All right, you win. He thinks I'm making money, and he figures to cut in on me. I've either got to buy him out or fight his gang. Sounds more like it. Well, if I've got to pay to keep him quiet, I want it to be a permanent job. Well, what do you say? I might be interested. Keep on talking. All right. Well, Sheriff, you got all the way to this point where I told you? Yep, already in waiting. Oh, that's fine. You know Jack's good with a gun, but he hasn't got a hundred to one chance in a man-to-man -man fight against Billy the Kid. <laughs> Who has? No one that I know of. But we're not fighting him man to man. When he drops Jack, all your deputies will be there to arrest him for murder. How about Jack's gang? Well, that's the best part of it all. Under those conditions, they'll help your boys get revenge. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, I can't lose.
Hi, Jeff. Where's the fire? Where's the dog and partnership? I don't hurt up with no double crossing murderer. So I'll show you what a head is. Anytime you want some more of this, just look me up. Are you Jack Saunders? Yeah, why? Get out of town as quick as you can. I'll meet you on the road. All right. Hey, I got a good mind to take a poke at you, and I think I will. Oh, yeah, to find me, huh? Well, how's it look? Oh, you don't. Leave him alone, Putney. You'll get his when the time comes. Yeah? Well, I may have a different idea. What's the matter? We'd better go to your office and talk. Well, what's it all about? Matt Brawley and Billy the Kid framed a trap for you. You and your boys were to be wiped out. Say, you don't owe me anything. Why are you telling me all this? Because Billy double-crossed me and tried to hog it all. I, uh, spoiled his little game. I see. So Matt Brawley thought he could play me for a sucker, did he? Well, that's the biggest mistake he ever made in his life. In your hands, why'd you let him go? Because that double-crossing partner of mine took me by surprise. Jump me before I had a chance to do anything. Why did he do that? Why? Because he'd made a deal with Jack Saunders to put you out of the way. Take over the works. I never would have thought that of Jeff. He's always been such a square shooter. He's never had a shot at such big money before. That makes a difference with some people. Now it's either you or Jack Saunders. You'd better beat him to the punch. I'll crack down on him so hard and so fast he won't know what hit him. Surprise, huh? You said it. We'll give him a surprise visit he'll never forget. like they're expecting company. Well, they'll soon find out different. We'll get as close as we can before we open up and let them have it. Yeah, you can't take chances with a bunch of outlaws like that. A little while ago, you were hot after my scalp. No, we're just like brothers. <laughs> You're riding with the law now. That makes a difference. You'll do a lot better working with me than against me. Come on.
had to look from up here. <laughs> I don't know when I've enjoyed watching a fight as much as this one. I can't get unhappy about it no matter who loses. Yeah. Telling each other is the only public service any of them ever did. This is giving that boy something to think about. He has to be still able to think after it's over. It looks like Matt Dawley's had enough. I better join him before they miss me. What am I supposed to do? Wait here until you hear from Jack. You sure did me a favor when you tipped me off about this raid. I ain't doing nobody a favor. I'm just getting back at Billy the Kid. Well, I'm taking it as a favor just the same. No, I can't stop you from doing that. They didn't just happen to be waiting for us. They knew we were coming. Now listen, Brawley, you got someone in your outfit that talks too much. And I don't like getting my head shot off just because someone with a big mouth likes to brag about what he's going to do. But it won't happen again. Yeah. If there is a man in my outfit that ain't got brains enough to keep his mouth shut, I'll shut it for him. Come on, let's go. I don't think they're coming back. They got enough the first time. All if they didn't, they're hard to please. You know, if that Billy the Kid thinks he's seen me for the last time, he's crazy. I'm going to repay this visit. Say, you got something there. We'll all go. Well, that's a little personal with me, but every little bit helps. Good. Now, look, here's the idea. Matt and his men are going to be a little disorganized, and they won't be expecting us. Now, if we can sneak in, I'm sure it'll put Matt in the right frame of mind for making a deal. You're right. Let's get the boys. All right. Boy, Matt up. We're riding. human intelligence sometimes. <laughs> I'll take some of these and some of those.
I guess we showed him where to head in. We sure did. But you didn't get Jack Sanders. You can always expect trouble from that gang until you wipe them out completely. I expect you're right about that. Be smarter next time. Lead him into it. Or maybe you can persuade him to leave that place safe. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's nothing that would please me more than to get Jack Saunders in a corner. It looks like he outgusted you this time. Well, if you ask me, it looks like he knew we were coming. Well, I don't see how that's possible. I didn't see anybody sending any smoke signals. That's the only way they could have known. Then why were they laying for us? Well, I probably figured you'd come back right away and was waiting for you. We should have known that. Yeah. Well, I guess that was it. Well, I'll get him sometime when he ain't expecting me. Got him on the run now. Keep on, man. I'll get Fred to do some more scouting for me. Now, those two gangs have locked horns, and I'll see to it. They keep fighting. When they whittle each other down, we can take over without much trouble. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't start sharing before you won your fight. Now, you promise ought to get organized to take over when the time's right. First thing you ought to do is to elect a sheriff who doesn't take orders from Matt Bawley. We'd be mighty proud to have you for a sheriff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, thanks. You know, too many sheriffs that try to get me to extradite results. <laughs> <laughs> Something's gone wrong. Jeff signaled for me to meet him at the usual place, but he wasn't there and he never did show up. Better go over there and find out what's the matter. We'll all go with you. No, it's best for me to go alone. We don't want to show our hand before we have to. Hey, leaving me behind. There's no reason for you to go along for thee. Well, you better be back here proud or I'll be roaring up there after you. <laughs> there goes one of the finest fellows that ever lived. We're all mighty thankful to him. I knew there was double crossing going on, but I didn't know who was doing it until I found you sending those smoke signals. <laughs> well, how do you know I wasn't sending a love letter to some Navajo gal? Now, you might think this is funny, but you'll change your mind before long. I sent a message to Matt Brawley, and he'll be here pretty quick. Just to hear you tell how you and Billy the Kid promoted the fight between us. <laughs> I don't feel a bit talkative. You will when I get ready to make you talk. Bring on the coffee. <laughs>
Say, boys, remind me to have you over to supper sometime. Yeah, say. inside both of you. I remember what I told you. If this thing ain't on the level, you'll be the first to get it. All I did was deliver Saunders' message. All right, get it. Now, boys, tie him up. Well, you had your fun, now it's my turn. I hope you enjoy yourself. Don't you worry. I will. Hello, Matt. I uh, found out we've been a couple of suckers. Well, you can bet I'm not being one now. Whoa. Try to hold a gun on this to make you feel no better. Come on in, I'll prove it to you. Come on, boy. Well, Matt, here's the pair that's been promoting all the trouble between us. I hogtied one, and the other one broke his neck to get up here to help him. But it looks like I owe you a lot. And I always pay my debts. <laughs> I'll remind you of that sometime. You meet. Eddie. Yeah. You know these two guys don't like each other. Why not let them fight it out? That's a good idea. Turn them loose. and the loser pays for both. Well, it's either that or you both swing. I'll give you till I count to ten. One, two, three, four, five. No use of us both dying when one can go free. You, uh, you don't mean that, do you, Bill? Of course I mean it. Come on and fight. I said fight!
Knock me in the throat. Boy, you sure have me fooled for a minute. I'll get on outside. All right, outside, you guys. Uh, I'll, I'll show you how to get them out of there. Come on out of there with your hands up. See, that's the way I do it. <laughs> Hey, Fuzzy, what are you doing? Hiding? Come on over here and give me a hand with these hombres. Ah, <laughs> uh, shucks. <laughs> <laughs> with Brawley's name on that paper, you have nothing more to worry about. Now, from the looks of things, you'll be the next sheriff. <laughs> Don't you ride too hard when you're on my trail. <laughs> <laughs> when this fig tree grows up, believe me, I'm coming back and sitting in the shade of it. <laughs> You're always more than welcome. No, if I don't, if I don't get him started, he'll sit here until it does grow up. <laughs> Goodbye, folks. Bye, Billy. You got a big hug for Uncle Billy? Yeah, you betcha, boy. That's it. That'll be a cowboy someday, huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you betcha. <laughs> Goodbye, Joey. Bye. Goodbye, partner. Bye. Don't forget to water my fig tree. <laughs> <laughs>